Hi everyone, I'm Carl Etzel with Silicon Valley Cycling Center. I'm Alex from Silicon Valley Cycling Center. And today we're going to do a product category overview of power meters. And we're going to go over the three power meters that are most common in the market today uh, and the ones that um, we think are best suited for serious riders and racers who want to train more effectively with power. Um, one thing we're not going to do today is a detailed product review of each of the different power meters that we talk about. We're really going to give you more of a product category overview and this is targeted for folks who have already decided that they want to train with a power meter and they just want um, a quick overview to make a smart decision about which one to buy. So we'll go in chronological order of the different mar uh, products that have been released into the market um, over the past you know, seven or eight years as power meters have become more prevalent and let you see what they look like on the bike and help you make a good buying decision. So the first power meter we're going to review is the SRM. It's the one that basically created the market for on-bike power measurement and if you follow the Pro Peloton it's the one that you'll see most commonly um, on the Pro's bikes today. The SRM basically works by measuring the torque applied at the crankset and multiplying the torque by the rotational velocity to calculate the power. And if you look at this particular model, um, they basically uh, encompassed the SRM torque measurement devices into a Shimano Dura-Ace crankset. Um, SRMs are available in a number of different crankset configurations, all different crank arm lengths, um, standard as well as compact gearing. And this is a wired setup, so there's actually a little pickup mounted down here near the bottom bracket uh, that sends the signal um, from it picks it up off of the uh, off the crankset, sends it up to the head unit on the handlebar, and then there's a, a speed sensor back here on the chain stay, just like you would find on any other uh, bike computer. Um, and these are available in a number of different models. Price range for SRM is starting at $2,300 and on up to $3,600 at the high end uh, for this Dura Ace crank setup. Um, the, clean, the installation on the bike is reasonably clean, but it is wired, so you've got two wires that run up on this bike. We've got them coming up underneath the down tube here, um, and a few zip ties needed down at the bottom. One thing that um, a number of folks have run into is on a lot of the new carbon fiber bikes, uh, the bottom bracket area, the shape of the tubing and the bottom bracket lugs can make it a little bit difficult to, um, to get the sensor positioned. They've actually got a um, SRM makes an additional uh, sensor mount that you can actually thread into the cable guide on the bottom uh, that makes that installation a little bit cleaner. Um, the head unit is uh, pretty distinctive. It's, it's probably the largest uh, head unit for a, a bike computer or heart rate monitor on the market. Um, it does have a pretty small footprint on the handlebar itself because of the way the mount works and it's nice because it does display a large amount of data all at once so you can pretty much do your whole ride without having to ever click through to look at the different data that you want to view during the ride. Um, price range 2300 starting at 2300 up to $3600 SRM first in the market and also the most expensive. One of the big advantages though with SRM is uh, you don't have to replace any of your wheels so if you've already got a collection of high-end race wheels and you want to keep all those and not have to replace any of them, um, SRM is the one to go with. Um, it's also a great system if, you, if you've only got one bike and you're only going to use the power meter on one bike all the time. Um, if you ever get in a situation where you have to take a spare wheel in a race or you have to borrow a wheel um, or the airline eats your wheel traveling to a race, um, it's a great system from that perspective as well.